Hello YouTubers, my name is Axe Factor, and welcome to my Battlefield 4 HUD customization guide, helping you figure out the color that's right for you with some in-game tips and tricks, and out-of-game tips and tricks, such as using a website such as RapidTables.com. There you can plug and play around with hex codes that you might have stolen from Photoshop, MS Paint, or any other source that you want to import into that website. It'll give you the RGB color, or just grab it from Photoshop. Now, we're going to go over a couple tips and tricks to show you how to find your color, including why you want to use click to ADS, click to zoom, the setting I go with. So I just right click my mouse, my hand is off the mouse, I am in ADS. I'm going to look up at the sky so you can see why. Now, here's why. When you go into options and gameplay, there's your click button or hold button, right? So that came out. Here's why. When you drop into that options menu, if you're a hold ADS, you're going to fall out of ADS and that is not what we want because we're going to go over some gameplay advanced options and this is where all the HUD stuff is. So now that my gun is up, we can start making these changes. Soldier hip fire reticle. That's what you see when you're in hip fire position. I left that stock because there's a lot of changes and a lot of stuff going around. Size 100, visibility 100, 255, 255, 255 is white in RGB code. Now, here's what the DICE developers at LA did. The second you touch this menu, oh, it's, it's so dark, x Factor. I can't see. They take away all the blur and all the darkness. So make sure you do this in shadows, in light, maybe against vehicles, maybe against a body, because it's important to have something that works for you across the board. Now, I run 125 and 225 on my glow with a fully stacked red bar at 255. Now, what does glow do for you? It's basically the intensity of it. And anything above 200 works really well in light areas and dark areas. Uh, especially such as operation lockers in the snow. But at 300 or above 225, it starts to make the optics seem just a little bit bigger. So I stick around 225 right there. And, of course, the size. It's as small or as big as you really want uh, up to the 150% increase limit. So there we go, back to 125. Now, vehicle basic reticle, vehicle chase. That's third person versus first person and there you're talking about your basic vehicles such as ribs amraps jeeps your helicopters and jets are separate and so are your specialized vehicles which are amtraks levs tanks attack boats things of that nature so we're actually gonna go over hit indicators and all that stuff but first we want to jump into a vehicle to do so. So you're going to want to find a bright area or a dark area remember check out your colors in different uh basic contrast, if you will. So this is important. Take a look at when I zoom in with my optics with the HMG. That's nice, bright, shows up against the grass. But we're going to go back to our stock primary cannon right here, and we're going to hit escape, go back to options, gameplay, advanced options, and we're going to go all the way down again to specialized vehicle where we can start messing with the hit markers. Okay, so here we go, specialized vehicle HUDs. Glow is 190%. Roughly, you could really tweak that, but as you can see, it gets kind of crazy and blurry on the outsides, and then obviously you could take it all the way down or mute that as much as you want. So we run about 200% there. Now, this is considered like a limey neon green, so it's zero on the red component, 165 or 65% the green, zero on the blue. What are the warning indicators? That's when your vehicle, attack boat, tank, LAV, attack jet, stealth jet, is really mad at you. Your cooldown, your defensive cooldown is not up yet. You see that countdown coming up, or you've been critically disabled or something else bad is going on with your vehicle, and usually death ensues quickly if you don't repair and get out of dodge. So we ran that full red stock. Now, what about hit indicators? So we're going to leave these stock size, but how do I adjust those? How do I see those? Click this on or off. That's it. Now, I don't want the damage base size on. Remember how they had in Battlefield 4 where you could have a headshot bigger and then a body shot smaller or the kill shot? We're going to leave those stock, and we're going to leave the size stock. My hit indicator, if I hit somebody in the right pinky toe, the arm, the body, the leg, that's stock, and it's completely white across the board. So if we want to mess with that color, we just start messing with the sliders in real time, basically. But we're going to leave that stock. Now, here's where I started tweaking things. Headshot indicator. I want red. Now, what about my kill shot? I tried to match the color that is basically in the kill feed when bodies start popping up, basically. And that is the hit shot indicator for the hit indicator for my kill shot. So that's pretty close 
to that orange that comes up on your kill feed down below underneath your crosshair. So that is it. These are your HUD options. You can pick any color that you want in the rainbow. Remember, jets and helicopters are separate from ground vehicles, but I really found that this neon green really, really helps out. Be careful. Don't overcomplicate these things and have all the colors in the rainbow. It might just be too much of a distraction. And let me know down below what kind of colors you guys are running. Share those RGB codes and give us an idea of what you're doing. Are you running some sort of sick Tron theme? Or are you mixing it up with all your different hit markers landed air vehicles trying to be rainbow bright? Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you soon.